Hey, welcome back. I wanted to show everybody something on the mission screen that I did not realize at any point in the entire history of me playing the game. Willie, do you remember if Demo Digest was added to SE? Or if it was in the original? It's been too long. I don't remember. Well, because I don't think I ever looked at it. Or I would just do this and hit play all if I did. Because in it, you just, every single mission has the goddamn number. Number showing just you showing where it is. Just showing you where the fuck oh. it is in every single mission. Well, that makes it a lot easier. It sure does, doesn't it? Damn. Because, yeah, in the original, that was one of the super obscure factoids. The four was probably the only one I can remember having the hardest time. But anyway, we're on to mission eight. With our ash, ash fresh, fresh. Dante looks all fucked up. He looks like he just unlocked easy mode. Oh no! no. Mm -hmm. The timing on that is so poor. Most people get that at Cerberus. Hit that light. Oh yeah. For a second chance. Yeah. Now imagine if Subhuman was playing here instead. Pull the sleeve off. Yeah, you got you got the one sleeve the whole rest of the game. Until the end, the judgment night. So remember in the last cutscene we were talking about how I always imagined that like the reason why Virgil trounces you so utterly is because he, he has his DT even if it's not on. So he's some easy. This is why I think that. Okay. Because he goes and punches it and doesn't expect to blow it up, and it blow up. And in the last boss fight, the whole fight, Virgil's cutting those things apart. So do you think you think Virgil was like full cowling his DT? Yeah. You think? That, yeah. You absolutely. Think he was tapping into it with that full transformation. Well, I think you just. I think you're just by default. It's an interesting theory. Because look how strong Nero is, even before he gets the DT, just because he's got the arm. Yeah. Oh, granted, a lot of the folks watching this series for the first time aren't gonna know what the fuck we mean by that. That's fine. But, that is fine. I just oh, remember yeah, so this, this cutscene is... having the dumbest move ever. But yeah, it's, it's, it's the fucking... I'm just scared to shit out <laughs> this, is, this is what I was referring to, it's like... Oh no! The vibration on the ground! Okay. Yeah, the fucking blood goil... Shish kebab. This is it, here it this is! the most insane thing Shoot ever. Shoot the sword! Because that's how physics works, y'all. He's out and running he's, he's out running at terminal velocity, no oh, less. He's running so fast. He's got re-entry flames on his on his run. Yeah, it's kind of insane. Yeah. And if you look closely in the background, you can see a big old eight on the moon. Yeah. At some point. What is Dante even doing there, you know? But it's like yeah. It feels like he wants to get eaten by the the fish. Where was he gonna go if that demon wasn't there? To die. Because <laughs> like, devil, devil powers are cool and all, but like... Like, let's assume that that was motivation, right? He gets up, yeah. lo he lost, he's like, fuck. What the fuck was the plan? What was all of that about? <laughs> you know? So I got everything at level two. Yeah, you uh, did in some the meantime, I have I have one enemy to kill before I hit level three on Trickster, so we'll start with that. That's, uh, uh, that's a lot of grinding. I'm actually farther along with Gunslinger and Royal Guard you wanna than I am with Swordmaster. You want to put some numbers out there? Some numbers? Yeah. Oh, about six hours. Oh, okay. Uh, but here's some numbers for you. I see. <laughs> I see. Would you like a number? Yeah? I mean, whatever. You can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So, uh, I take it... You can't stop me. You don't want any repeats of boss session, huh? No, I actually just don't want to grind like that again. You want as much insurance as you can. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Oh, fuck off. You're the one who wants to play these games ahead of time. Absolutely. Style on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And just, there you go, buddy. I, I bought both air hikes. Which, what a fucking rip that it makes you buy air hike for each one, and it's the most expensive fucking it is, game that is a That is a dump of 20,000. It's a dump of 40k. And I, th uh, I uh, yeah, well, have 20, 20 for one, but... Does yeah. Beowulf have air hike, do you know? No? I don't know. Alright, so whatever. Let's go down. That's good. We got, uh, these two. Just go these two. No, 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 no. These two, because they're new and weird. Okay. And then we'll, uh, we'll get going. Over- So this- that fish... whale thing... clearly exists so that we can have a DMC-1 style... goo mission. Run through the goo. It's the only reason I can think of From the demon's womb. 
I mean, that mission thing reads like the lyrics, quite frankly. So, uh, for, oh. but yes, we're seeing the effects that we. It's orange. We're seeing that uh, that uh, mirage effect. I'll call yeah. it. Yeah. Right, the pulsating. So, oh, the seal. Oh, look of that creepy tusked vagina thing. Well, after a while, sliding gems into slots kind of wears out its welcome. So yeah, Trickster Two, you get a second dodge, which means you're invisible for way longer. You also get this. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Which is just awesome. And you need a target to do the uh, the cross up teleport, huh? Yeah, but you also need level three. Okay. Because uh, uh, that's the signature. Oh, trickster, that's trickster that's trickster the move. best move. God, is that the best move? Ah. Uh, like I mean, we can argue all day as to whether or not it actually is, but it's a pretty good one at the very least. I mean, I like the three the, more tusks for me. I like the the teleport options that Virgil gets. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a red orb. Okay, so they're just gonna give me a blue orb here. None of this matters anymore. What do you mean? I mean... What are you, what are you talking about? I, mean I would nothing. like a definition for your statement. I mean nothing. Oh, nothing. Nothing in this world matters anymore? Ride that elevator to the top! Alright, we're gonna try and do this legit, and then we're gonna try and do it less than legit. There are two ways to do this mission. Are you familiar with the, the second way, Wooly? Uh, I, I, Shmup God Pat must have showed me back in the day, but, uh, I'd be remiss to say I remembered it. So there's the two ways. One is, you gotta fight all these dudes. Mm -hmm. I mean, last time the elevator went down... Oh, it was dope. It was pretty slick. But, uh... So the main issue with these guys is that they're all... They're all fucking beefed up. And, like, DT Explosion is a good way to actually stop it. But, like, sure enough, like, they are very hard to kill. Yeah. I'm honestly not certain, like, if you did not have DT Explosion, which I will now hold DT for a little bit, as you see the pips building climb up. up yeah. What is DT Explosion? It's that. The wipe. Yeah. It's amazing. But it spends more. It spends a lot more, and you get a lot less time in DT. So, DT in this game also gives you a movement boost. And an attack boost. So I never really used it. I, I extraordinarily rarely used it. Yeah. I, the, it's really astonishingly good against Virgil. But think Because it's this massive burst! But you're sacrificing healing, you're sacrificing speed, yeah. you're you know... You're sacrificing your install, right? Absolutely. Um... So... The other way to do this mission is to cheat. Ah, uh, just be a shit ass if you have the movement ability. They fucking they, uh, can't handle it and, and then disappear. They, they, then they fucking pop. They, they, they yeah, <laughs> they despawn. That's some that's some cheap shit. Sure is. Dante would be proud. Oh, fucked up. Oh, oh, you guys are gone. Wow. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's and that's it. <laughs> that's fucking. That's scary. how you beat Secret Mission Four. Scum. Absolutely. <laughs> that's one of those weird ones where the real solution is just so much harder than the fake one. But that's but that's just like a combat based like proficiency. It's not. I, it's not the far I, from the worst. I believe it is actually supposed to be done using uh, fucking. Uh, DT explosion. Well, not to mention, also, like, Rebellion makes that section easier. Some Rebellion moves are, are better off. They that. are, but the main thing you want is, like, knockback. So Kalina Ann is actually really good for that. Because hmm. it just does a big ol' AoE. But yeah, the, the other bit, too, with Mission Select is that you can come back to missions with more abilities A lot more. And make them trivialized in some cases. How the fuck do I get up to that second? Like, if you didn't have... You know, air hike one, and, and then uh, the, the air dash. You didn't. Whoops! Did you see that? That wouldn't have played out the same way. Hell no, it wouldn't. Have. It would have played out with. I don't know how to beat the secret mission. Okay, I guess I'll leave. That's how it would have fucking played out. Hey, Dante, Dante, Dante! God damn it! All right, how do? You, oh, there. There we go. Now, do you have a preference for, uh, the way secret missions are handled between this wonderful 101 and Bayo? Alright, let me think. Secret missions and Bayo... 
They're just the Alphimes. They're not really. They're just challenges. They're just combat challenges. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here. But there's waves, right? There's waves, and there's also the thing where you get where by actually finding them is a little easier because they are all denoted by a bright, like or uh, not orange, but a bright circle. Yeah. This is hey, Alphime is here. here. Yeah. Uh, whereas here, uh, some of them are just, like, nonsensical tiny objects in the environment that you have to click on. Though that one was, like, a big tablet. How the fuck? Can and you not do that without... Uh, interesting. And, and, uh, 101 was also, like, a, a mixture. A lot of them was, like, like combat, but combat with a gimmick. Mm -hmm. You know, or in some cases, it's just, like... I genuinely prefer... Only the, use this move. The one... The DMC style, where it's just like... I have no idea how to fucking get back up there. That's ridiculous. I'm an idiot. Uh, I, I agree, because I think... I feel like the DMC one... Uh, the idea feels like... Oh, I'm an idiot. See, look, look at this stupid pat. The idea feels like uh, they're puzzles. Yeah, they're like, okay, use... But they're skill-based puzzles. Use this game that is, like, absurdly combat-focused. And figure out how to do goofy mechanics in order to... Oh, what was that? To actually complete weird challenges and maybe even learn something in the process oh i didn't know you could even jump on enemy like i straight up yeah. did not know you could jump on enemies until the enemy step tutorial so so the, that is the secret mission so what's fucking awesome about that is that it serves a purpose in the same way that the combat educators serve a purpose because it's all uh reinforcing the game's mechanics yeah in the downtime. Do you remember that there's a combat adjudicator that you have to beat to complete the game? No. There's only one, and it's the Beowulf one. No, I you're don't. not allowed to beat the game until you unless you beat because it blocks a doorway. Is it is it an S? It's a C. Okay. So fucking whatever. Huh. But like, if you somehow avoided them or went fuck it, no, that's you I... will complete one. <laughs> wow. You goddamn will. Learn the shit. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Fuck, I just remembered in my mind that this area has a boss. I had completely forgotten that this area even had rise. a boss. Ferociously. And, like, I want to say that so did Carl, because the, in the intro, there's all the bosses. No hard. Except for this one! Hard of Leviathan. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. I mean, let's, like, in, in the lineup of super memorable, like, demons, this dude ain't really... Oh, yeah? The heart doesn't do it for you? Not really, you know. Cutting it at the table. I don't even care. He's doing his best. He can't even stop me. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Did I get him? Not to mention, you're coming off the heels of Virgil 1. And Agni and Rudra, who are genuinely fantastic in their own right. Man, Agni and Rudra Maybe does have like one a, issue. I think Le I think the Leviathan encounters, are, they, they feel like mini-bosses, right? Yeah. Like, you're not really getting the, orbs. The, you're not getting the gigantic cutscene payoff or the yeah. musical thing or the... Like, I think they're meant to just kind of feel like mini-bosses, really. They show up later as a proper boss, though. Hmm. There you go. Oh, I forgot about these guys. You know what else I forgot about? The fucking D-pad. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot that the D-pad is where you would find... Files. Your files. D-pad is also where you would switch these if you could in a different game, but it tells just tells you what it is. Uh, go to the files again? There's a map. There's your map, yeah. And up on it is- Oh, get out of there! But yeah, what do you want in here? Uh, just go to, like, uh, anything for a second. Item? Sure. Okay, and so... Yeah, it just show- okay, whatever's blurred out is not- you haven't gotten yet. I have not gotten yet. Or it doesn't exist. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've- I- yeah, fucking- Definitely never really spent time looking at that. Why would you ever hit the D-pad in this game, ever? So th are these just prides that are just gross? Um, like, like, barf prides living inside of the whale? Yeah. Uh, these are, these are hell enemies. So... They're not quite prides. Silence! 
You scared? So the thing is, I was talking, uh, I saw somebody say something where I always play the game on turbo mode, which we are not playing. Turbo mode just kicks the game up 20%, which is a weird option that they added. A Street Fighter style. A, a while ago. Like in this, I think it was in this, in the SE, but they kept it going forward. Um, and described the reason why I don't use turbo mode. Because those mash moves, which are called crazies, <laughs> are actually insanely difficult yeah. to achieve. Finger hurting is involved. Properly in fucking uh, re uh, anything but the regular mode. Yeah. No, I, I mean, to be honest, I'm overall not a fan of mashing as a mechanic. So anything um, that makes the mashing go down. You know, not to mention that uh, it's not, like, uh, disability friendly. Hell no, as it ain't. A, as a, you know, design-wise. Do you have a disability? Don't play these types of games. Yeah. For example, Paige has, like, a joint problems. Bayonetta, like, crippled her for a day. Yeah. After playing for a couple yeah, hours. Yeah, sucks. Just not- And Bayonetta's the easiest input-wise. And it's just like, that sucks. no, it's not for you. And it um, sucks. That's actually really shit. Like, uh, Dragon Rushes in Dragon Ball Fighters, the more you mash, the more damage they do. Uh-oh. Marvel, oh. same thing. The more you're you mastering supers, the more damage you do. Th therefore making it, like, suboptimal to not mash. And that sucks. I hate it. I yeah. hate it. It's- I've hated it. When's the first time I can think of where I hated it? I think it was, uh, Blanca and Ihonda e and Chun-Li. Right. Just right. way back in the day. I in mean, SF2. Like, and, 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 like, you can achieve some, like, all oh, the- Oh, hell. Like, if you want to have, like, like, you, like piano input stuff is kind of like, um, five minimum, and then you, like, you walk forward and hit five punch buttons. Mm -hmm. Like, you go one, two, three, one, two, kind of thing, and then you get, like, the absolute minimum for, like, Honda's slaps or Blanca's electricity. And, and if you want it to be as short as possible, that's fine. But you can replace that with a motion. Uh-oh. And, like, slow presses to keep it going. Holding a button while the controller vibrates. Do whatever the fuck, you know, like... You, you definitely don't have to have mashing as a part of your game, and, uh, yeah. I hope it goes away. Oh, there we go. And... I hope it goes away for anything that is, like, de facto gonna make you better. Yeah. Right. Like, mashing for some kind of... Useless thing. Like, uh, like, say if you mashed it out, you'd get a different animation that's cool, or, or whatever. Or something like that, but, yeah. yeah. Like, mashing it... I mean, fucking think back to Tekken throws with mashing. Like, the difference between the two person's mashing speeds could represent, like, a huge life advantage. That sucks! Nobody likes that. Except for people like, uh, like, even I don't like that. I can mash pretty good, but it hurts your arm. It hurts your wrist. Um, it's probably this, this thing I hate the most about, uh, Guilty Gear, is those stun states where you have to, like, waggle the stick and mash the buttons. Right? Yeah, you have to mash the shit out of them, too. And, uh, I, I'll never forget that there was, a uh, uh, There was a Grand Finals with Justin Wong in it for Street Fighter Four sometime, where... I, it might have not been a Grand Finals, but it was, it was a, a, a match on stage. And, uh, in Street Fighter Four, he got, like, he got dizzied, and the person he was fighting kind of, like, took the moment to walk over and then do a jump to do a full damage combo. Yep. And by the time they came down from the jump, he'd mashed out of the dish. Uh oh Because it turns out, like, you can mash even faster than what everyone thought was the fastest you could recover. And Justin Couture. He monster mashed. And he fucking and recovered. He, played, he paid, pledged his allegiance to the graveyard smash. It was, it was... And then won the match. It was nutty. It was nutty, and you, and it like... Everyone was like, how is that even a thing? And it just goes, yep, better mashing means better player. The end. So I'll be honest, I, I did not spend uh, almost any time with the styles that I didn't care for back in the day. Like, I would, I leveled up all of them to the cap, right? But only just by playing the game. I never actually used Royal Guard or Trickster all that much. I didn't understand yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is fascinating to play through them and figure out why each of them is good at maintaining style and how they are all actually viable. Different, they're good at different things, right? Swordmaster, very simply, it gives you an extra set of moves so you can vary up the style more easily, right? Simple, straightforward, combat, yep. the easiest. Trickster allows you to almost never take damage, which makes your style stay up longer. 
yeah. because you're not taking hits. Gunslinger allows you to gain style or stop style from going down at every single second because of the gun moves. And then Royal Guard just gives you massive, massive fucking style bursts. Like you go from like C to S if you kill somebody with a Royal Guard burst. Um, yeah, it, it, like I said, like, they're all balanced against each other in terms of effectiveness, mm -hmm. and I feel like that was probably a large part of, 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 like, uh, dev testing in this game was making sure that every style actually was viable compared to the rest. Because, uh, like, fucking, if, if one came out aggressively on top compared to the others, and I mean, I mean, and to some degree, like, it depends on the task at hand, right? Like, I would say some, like I said, boss fights heavily benefit from Royal Guard as opposed to crowd control. So, Swordmaster and Gunslinger, in unle unless there are specific cases, um, Swordmaster and Gunslinger are not the best to use when you are playing against bosses. Now, the thing is, is however, alongside that shit, uh, I, can, I, 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 I did fuck around with the, the, the main styles, but I can't tell you shit about Quicksilver or fucking Doppelganger, because that was so little time spent compared to everything else. So yeah, uh, the thing is that I can remember is that Quicksilver, I mean, it gives you a free... It's free, you know? Yeah. It's just free damage. It's just time stop. You just get damage for free. Uh, but, but in terms of, like, advanced Quicksilver or, like, I ba balance versus the rest... What is the? How does that work out? I, I don't know. I, I actually don't know. You so know? in the process of trying to figure out the fastest way to grind some of these moves, I've discovered... Like, I'm like playing Gunslinger for hours. And I'm like, I don't get it and I don't like it. What am I missing? Right? And the answer is Gunslinger in this game has the same problem that Nero does in DMC4 in that the default uh, control scheme is not for it. The default control scheme is for Swordmaster, essentially, or Royal Guard, or even Trickster. So you want that circle button on a trigger? You want everything on a trigger, okay. so that you can attack and melee, and uh, you want to be able to hold the, the, a trigger down While to charge your, Artemis, your, yes, yes. or whatever, at all times. Right, right, right. I tried it. Dude, it feels so uncomfortable to me. Okay, okay. I don't like it. But I understand, because, like, otherwise, you're, you're tech and fingering. I also discovered, and did not know this, but did you know that uh, the style, like Ebony and Ivory, for example, the style shot and the uh, regular shot are both special cancelable into each other? Oh, wow. And they fire, like, about half, like, twice as fast. If you just, if you just mash the fuck out of it, you can fire, like, twice as fast, and it is, in fact, the highest DPS So you get a possible. You get up a bang. Moment. Just by firing like crazy. With shit like sword- oh, with the, the shotgun or Timmy ebony ivory. Grew. It's nuts. It's a weird cut. The foundation that brought out fear. Fear. Fear of evil. <laughs> yes. Fear. Calm down, buddy. Chris is like, what the fuck Action. ever, dude? You're creepy, dude. The rage and agonies of the people. Those who were confined here. With hey, pro tip to all the parents of twins out there. If you split a magical amulet that you own and give it each half to each kid, yeah. they're probably going to end up fighting over it. Yeah, probably. Even if you want it to be some cool double dragon shit. Especially if you color coordinate them oppositely. <laughs> right? What's Double wrong? Dragon had the same idea going going yeah. on, and even they fought. They're probably Nothing. gonna fight. If you have two kids and one is red and one is blue, start worrying. <laughs> <laughs> and and if especially if this you know the strongest wins the the second half and that gives them the ultimate. Yeah. Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't. Maybe don't. Hey, good job, Dante. Oh, I got an A. Wonderful. See, but you see, but the difference is that the Bimmy and Jammy <laughs> have the ability to power themselves up to be even more strong when they coordinate. Oh fuck! So using the power solo oh, fuck, is why? twice as weak. I fucking can't. So that 
that level got killed. I killed the level. It died. Goodbye, organic level. Hey, what about the people living underneath the whale? Fuck it. They all left. I love how no one ever talks about... No, the word Leviathan is never even spoken, it ever. Re it, it really... Oh, he landed next to the tower where it was safe. Where everyone had already been killed. Don't worry about it. Gross, dude. You would probably actually be covered in way more blood than that, I would think. And your clothes would be completely ruined. Eh. He still likes it a little so bit. So this is the next stage. Wait. If you're asking for a date, forget it. Because I make it a point not to go out with women who shoot me in the head. Date a demon? What, you go out with women who shock you with electricity and stab you with your own sword Besides, instead? I really don't care for Mother. Who stink like it does You know what? I've been thinking about it. It's never even implied any romantic connection of Dante with anyone. No. Ever. You're right. Not really. Because again, you can just say it's it's just motherly. Right? Motherly affection. You can leave it off there. She, but, nur she nurses me. It's but, not about sex. But don't even but don't tell me that like what should I call you? I don't care. Whatever you want. Yeah, so the I feel like don't tell me that the future implications, right? Uh of Dante hanging out with Lady and Trish is not that they got you. some kind of fun three-way party going. No, it's, it's not. Because it it's feels like it is. It's way lamer than that. It feels like it's Dante and his ladies. Yeah. Nine. Uh... Who counted on <laughs> That was a weird cut. It is. That felt wrong. <laughs> Just like that, the last cut. That felt... Oh, man. Yeah, well, you disagree with Dante and his ladies? I do disagree with that. Okay. Because they show zero interest in Dante. No, but they just show up together. Yeah. Is why. It feels like, you know, the the action figure would come with uh, yeah. them them behind. That's like, Dante's a better fighter, but the the other two seem better at actually living the rest of their entire lives. Well, they're part of- yes, but they're- they are- they're all part of the Devil May Cry team. And then, in 5, Nero and fucking uh, Nico join the- Yeah. Join the core. And Kyrie may maybe It's not clear. Making- Making dinner up in the kitchen when your arm gets ripped off. Oh boy. Thanks, honey. I appreciate it. Maybe she was so unimpressed with Nero, <laughs> and then that, and she heard about that new arm. That new Nico that made new, this in advance, and then she was like, "Maybe we should let this random stranger in to pull that fucking arm off." Maybe. Oh, that's oh, that's dark. Oh, that's so sad to do. Maybe the Devil Bringer is not fun in the bedroom. I assume that's actually the implication. Because it's, oh, it needs more power. Like, no. You're not Tim Allening my pussy here. Fucking calm down. Just snatch a whole new meter. <laughs> what is it snatching? <laughs> Something painful. Oh. A bad idea. Stop it, Nero. Stop spending proud souls. <laughs> Stop. Get. <laughs> You can't even get it together. You can't even fucking oh, fucking fuck. pick it up, man. <laughs> fucking pick it up. <laughs> spending proud like like spending proud souls on bedroom moves. Don't do it. Oh, fuck. Are these supposed to be Phantom's fucking kids? No. Normally I would I would no, not ask. They don't they don't look question. they don't look like the same type of but tarantula. Spiders. That's about it. Tarantulas are are a different breed. Oh my god, I forgot about this shit. Oh come on, light puzzle is always in forever, dude. Oh uh, look, a convenient time thing. But why would it be here? Beep, 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 beep. Wait, how is it? 